Hello, and welcome to our 12 days of holiday nail art featuring designs from me, Talia, at Talia's Nail Tales, and... From me, Sarah, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. For the next 12 days, we'll be sharing with you 12 different themes of nail art for this time of year. Talia is a gel tech, and Sarah is an acrylic tech, so you will get a special gift of watching two different techniques for each theme. If you recreate any of these designs, please use the hashtag SecretNailTales on social media so we can check them out. We hope you enjoyed this gift from us, and let's get started. For this Christmas light set today, I really wanted to think outside the box and do something a little bit different. So what I came up with was a black background and then do the Christmas lights on top. I wanted it to kind of look like nighttime and when you look in the night and the lights are shining, that's kind of what I was going for. So to start, I'm clipping off these crystals with my cuticle nipper. This is a old one that I just use to, just for crystals. So it's really dull and it just gets under them. You can also shove a cone carbide, like a really, really thin thin cone carbide to loosen them up before clipping it makes it a little bit easier here I'm just thinning down her old design I'm just using a carbide this is a coarse carbide everything I use will be in the description box this one is a safety bit so you can't cut your client with this and everyone was asking in some of my other videos why I don't get rid of every single bit of color and it's because I can't or I would break the tip off the nail and have to fix them all and that would defeat the purpose of a color change so I just file them as thin as I can and then apply on top the brand I use is glam and glitz and all the colors are super pigmented so I never really have to worry about colors showing through and if you don't like the color underneath you can always apply glitter or file it out when you're finished filing but you know I just don't want to break the tip so it's really important for me to just leave some color just in case and I don't want to file too close to the natural nail so I always try to keep a little bit there and keep the nails super thin. So I'm using a cuticle bit here to get around the cuticle area. For prep, I'm using Ugly Duckling Prep. This is just a dehydrator. And then for priming, I'm using Elite Beauty Supplies Power Base, and these are micro swabs I got from Amazon. So this design, I decided to use black gel polish instead of black acrylic because black acrylic is super harsh. It's harder to apply and harder to get off at her next color change. So I'm just applying clear acrylic. This is Envy brand, and the brush I decided to use was CJP Big Boy. This is the first time I've used this brush and I really like it so far. It doesn't have a number on it, but I think it could be equivalent to a size 12 or 14. So I'm just applying the ball of acrylic a little bit further back from the cuticle and then I'm using the tip of my brush to push it close to the cuticle area. And then I'm using the tip of my brush to pull it down the side walls and to the tip. And then I'm applying more on top to create my apex and to give the nail some strength. After all 10 fingers have been applied and now I'm going back to the other hand and this hand is dry so I'm just using a fine cone carbide to debulk the nail around the cuticle area and sidewalls and then I just go over the whole nail try and make it all even and smooth. I apply such a light gentle pressure, I'm barely taking anything off. This is just a step I've been doing forever that it just feels right to me. You guys can finish file however feels right for you. Thank you. 
then I take my hand file and I go over the whole nail and kind of rough up the surface. This is just something I've always done. It kind of makes the nail all even. And then I file the sidewalls and the tip. Make sure you're using a fresh clean hand file for each person. I buy these in bulk and I'll try to find the link and post it down below. So I never show this part, but I thought I would this time. I'm just taking my cuticle bit and I'm pushing it down where the natural nail is just to make sure that there's no lifted natural nail or any ledges that would annoy my client. I do this step before buffing just in case I go around the nail by accident because sometimes you can slip. You're not going to cut your client, but you'll slip and then dent your acrylic and it's really annoying. So now I'm just taking a scored white buffing block and buffing these nails. I wiped off all the dust with a fluffy brush, but then I'm wiping off more dust with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe just to make sure there's no dust that can get trapped inside your gel polish. So now I'm polishing these nails with Jelly Fit Australia's black gel. This one is my favorite black gel polish that I have in my entire collection. And you guys, I'm dangerously low on it. I think after this set, I have to throw it away and get a new one because I'm so low. I've even broke the bow. There's almost nothing left. I had to like basically scrape it out of the container. This one is my favorite because it takes one coat coverage and look how opaque that is. I do two coats anyway, just because I always do two coats, but it's super opaque. And this one, has kind of a velvety look to it you guys can't see here but if you see it in person it's it's just stunning it's my favorite black ever so I'm gonna need to pick up more soon and I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a really good black gel polish for any gel polish that I add on my nails I try to apply it really thin and I try to be super careful not to get it on the skin or down the sidewalls because gel sticks to gel and it will always move there if you accidentally touch the cuticle area or touch the sidewalls so I just try to be super slow and super careful for my first application. So then after I apply this I'm going to give this full cure, do the other hand and then I will do a second coat. I always end up doing the second coat much faster because the first coat I applied so carefully. So I'm just doing a second coat here on all these nails and then giving it a full cure. Before applying my design, I'm just coating all these nails in Jelly Fit Australia's matte top coat. This one cures to a matte finish. There's no dispension layer to wipe off. So I really like this one. So I'm just applying this on all the nails and giving it a full cure. Now that that's done, I'm applying Light Elegance Metallic Silver and I'm using my Selena Ryden Signature Series brush set in Shorty to do this. So I'm just doing these first. I was going to do them with foil, but it didn't really work out. So I just chose a silver gel paint to do it with. So after I apply all of these design on each hand, I'm just giving it a full cure. I normally hand paint with my universal white magic gel, but this time I decided to use my textured white. This is a little bit harder to work with because it's super thick. So I'm just applying it with the same brush around the light bulbs. And uh, I'm trying to do that to give it more of a textured 3D look. So this is a little bit harder to work with. So if you prefer to work with paint and it's a little bit easier for you, then I suggest doing that. When you put your brush into the texture gel, you'll get like a little bit on the tip of your brush so you can kind of pull. And that's what I use to make the tip of these light bulbs. So it's kind of cool that you can kind of pull it and it's stringy, if you know what I mean. If you guys can see there, the stringiness of it. After I've outlined them all, I'm just creating the strings for the lights to be on. 
I just kind of pulled them from one to one and then it, this magic gels texture white makes super thin lines which I kind of like so I'm just happy with that and then I give this one a full cure and then I move on to the next fingers I try to do each one separately so that I don't accidentally make a mistake and mess up any of my hand painted design so now I'm just adding syrup or glass gels this one is a European brand I don't know where you guys can get it I'm so sorry if I find an alternative I'll post it down below I started with the red and then I made sure to wipe off my brush really well and I jumped into the green. The green I mixed myself by taking some hard gel and a, just a dash of colored gel and I mixed it in together to create my own syrup gels. These are a little bit foggier than the actual syrup gels from other brands but they work out because I they just work because I don't have that color and I really want a green and yellow. So this blue is G014 by the gel bottle, and if you get any on your white, make sure to clean off your brush and wipe it away. I gave those syrup gels a full cure and now I'm just going in with my Jelly Fit Australia No Wipe Top Coat. I put some on this palette just so I could get it perfectly over top of just the color just to make them 3D and come out a bit. I'm not sure if you can get this yet, but you will be able to soon. This is from Ugly Duckling. It's called Stick It. It's a gel glue. It's amazing for gluing on top of gel polish because I find sometimes if you just add glue or resin, it can chip off, but this stuff stays. It's amazing. Some of my clients even request it because it's so amazing. So once they have it in, that'll be available for you guys and it's awesome and I definitely recommend it if you do gel nails or gel polish. And here is the finished result. I really like how these turned out with the dark and the light and the matte. I hope you guys liked this set and I hope it gave you some ideas for some Christmas designs for your clients. Don't forget to check out Talia's design. She did this pretty red and green Christmas light design. So check out her channel. I will link it in the description box. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.